called the Taco Marine Project boat. And guys, you'll see some minor scratches in the gel coat, some deeper gouges, and some pretty good bangs that the boat has taken at the dock over its life. And kind of what we're going to be doing with this particular project book, guys, is this is going to go to charity. And it's called the I'm Loging It Foundation. And what we're going to zero in on this time, guys, is we're going to be taking a look at the gel coat. And that's the finish that goes over top of fiberglass boats. And you'll see that we have some light scratches and, and some hits and everything. And what we want is an exact color representation of older gel coat. I'm not looking at new gel coat here. I want to have something that's going to match something that's been out in the sun for decades. Okay, so that's going to be our first challenge. We also want to unveil a new technology in gel coat. And traditionally, you have to kind of spray gel coat onto the boat. And if you're not an expert, it can be a little challenging. We're going to show you how literally anybody can put in gel coat with the use of a brush. And literally, the brush marks are going to come out. It, it really simplifies the process. And, and Mike is in the technical sales division. And you work with the different boat builders and, you know, what compounds and what resins and what glass is going to be best for their specific needs. And what we're looking to do here is we're looking to beautify the boat, Mike. And there's a couple of ways that we could go. We could paint the boat, and, and All Grip's the big name in the marine paint, and you guys actually sell it here at Fiberglass Coatings. That's right. And there is a technique to where, guys, you don't have to spray on the All Grip. You can actually roll it with a foam roller like this, and you can come back with a good quality badger hair brush in conjunction with a brushing catalyst, and you can brush it and tip it and it'll get those brush marks to kind of flow out. And before we get into the new technology in gel coat that I want to unveil to the world, because this is really cool, I want to talk about how can you get us or anybody at home an exact color match with gel coat? How, what do we have to do to get this color right? We've got a computer eye that's going to match exactly the piece you sent me. So what I need you to send me is exactly what you want the boat to look like when you're done. You asked us to wet sand this hatch because it had oxidation. You know, it's from 1989. You also asked us to compound it. We've done that, and it, and it looks good. Okay, looks and, and this is the true color of the gel coat. So you somehow take this eye with a computer and you, and you color match it, and then you have a manufacturing facility here. Do you, do you actually make it here on site? Yes, the computer eye is going to give us a formula. We're going to take that formula and we're going to manufacture by adding the pigments to a gel coat base. Um, then once we're done adding the pigments, we're going to go back and QC test it. Uh, we're going to make sure that the color that we've mixed up matches your part exactly. We're going to cure out a small sample of it and make sure it matches. Okay, what if somebody doesn't have a hatch? Okay, I had a hatch on the Pursuit, but what, what if it's not available and maybe they're trying to get a color match for their hull sides? What do they do? A lot of guys will do a, a cutout. You could call, cut a small piece of, of the boat out, and a lot of guys will put in a drain or some type of fitting right. uh, into that hole. Or you could how go back of, and patch How it. big of a sample, the, the true color, and again, you guys are going to have to wet sand it or compound it, get the oxidation removed so they can do the color match so that when you buff the boat out, I mean, it'll, you, know, you don't want any fried eggs here. <laughs> but, uh, but how big of a piece do you need? I need at least one inch. What I really want to turn people on to is the technology that you guys have just developed to where you don't have to spray gel coat in, you can actually brush it in. Could you tell us about it? It's a brand new technology that we've come up with uh, that's based on paint. Um, it's a polyester gel coat, right? but it flows out about like a house paint. Um, how, how deep of a scratch, how deep of a gouge can I fill in with just gel coat before I have to get into body fillers? You can do about a sixteenth of an inch. I know I have some deeper ones. What do you recommend to kind of fill that up and then I could put the gel coat, lay it over top of it? Uh, for smaller scratches, you could do something like a OEM Super Poly Fill, right. a putty. Uh, you can use a spreader to, to fill that in and sand it down, uh, wipe it down with some acetone, right. and then you go back over it with your gel coat. Guys, we also have some little fiberglass repairs that we're going to need. This is Fiberglass coatings is where we're going to get the glass, we're going to get our polyester resin, we can get the tools that we need with it, the brushes, the perfectly color-matched gel coat. 
But people at home, I'm telling you, there are millions of people in my audience that have a fiberglass boat, and they might have a scratch or, or a gouge that they want to fill in, and they want the right color. How do they find you guys? The easiest way to get a hold of us is fgci.com. Okay, and you literally not only cater to people in Florida, we're in the St. Petersburg retail outlet. I know that you also have a big superstore down in Fort Lauderdale, but you ship pretty much all over the country, all over the world. Fantastic. Well, we're going to head back to the boat shop. We got a lot of scratches, a lot of things to fill in. We'll literally be covering things right after this. Welcome back. We are now back in the boat shop, and I want everybody to take a look at this little sample chip here. Fiberglass Coatings has actually done a wonderful job with the computer color matching of our pursuit here. Now, this is a chip, and this is the hatch, and take a look. I mean, they are spot on. It's, it's amazing what they can do with the color matchings. And who we now have on the program is Jeff Hargrove, and Jeff is the operations manager for Fiberglass Coatings, and this dude knows a lot about how to fix up boats, and thank you for coming by. Thank you. Okay, let's start with, uh, with our damaged area. This is less than a sixteenth of an inch Correct. In, in depth. Correct. How do we put in the gel coat? What do we have to do prep-wise to the boat? Prep-wise, we're going to go along and sand it with an 80-grit sandpaper, much like the Merca abrasive. We're going to sand it, fair it out a little bit. We're going to come back with an acetone wipe down. We're going to wipe it off in the area, try to get rid of the solvents and the wax and the dust that might be in that area. Okay, now you do need to add a hardener, which is called MEK, to the gel coat, all right? And I know on the website you have all the ratios for how much catalyst you have to put into the gel coat Absolutely. or how much catalyst you might have to put into your body filler and all of that. But uh, we, we were talking about this is a brushable gel coat, kind of like rolling and tipping with all grip, mm -hmm. okay? But is there a technique that we need to use here when we're brushing on the gel coat? There is a special technique. Unlike all grip where we roll and tip and we try to get all the brush strokes out with the, uh, with the uh, brushing and the tipping, we're going to just take our chip bristle brush that's okay, right there. Very inexpensive compared to a badger hair brush. This is a throwaway chip brush. Correct. We're going to brush it in two directions. We're going to brush left to right. We're going to brush up and down. We're going to leave it alone at that point. We're seeing brush marks. You said that we weren't going to see brush marks. What's you're, going on? You're seeing brush marks, but with the paint technology that Mike talked about, that is going to flow out. Okay, so give it time. you got to give it some time. It's hot today. We've got the fans on, you probably hear them on the cameras. Um, it's probably 90 degrees, all right? So once it does cure, probably four to six hours, the gel coat's yep. gonna cure. What do we have to do to get it to look perfect? We're gonna start with uh, sandpaper again, but we're gonna start with higher grits. We're gonna start around 320, 400, 600, and 800 sand sandpaper. And then we're gonna go to a buffing compound. Okay, now you guys recommend a specific brand of rubbing compound. You think it's really great. Correct. What, what's it called, and is it a one-step process or a two-step process? It's going to be a two-step process. In this case, we recommend Ferrecla compounds. We start with a 300, and we're going to work up to a 500 compound okay. using a wool pad. So, guys, here's that area with the modest scratches, the before. Okay. Here it is blended into the boat. Looks like a million dollars. Now, on the nose of the boat, you will see some deeper damage uh, right on the center line, right at the keel and then also that bow pulpit, all right? And um, this is more than a sixteenth of an inch of damage, Correct. which means that we have to use a body filler. And what do you guys use with this system as a body filler? Uh, first, we're going to start with a prep. We're going to get rid of all of the loose pieces or particles that might be there, gel coat chips or fiberglass. Then we're going to take our OEM Super Polyfill. We're going to drag that in with a putty knife or a, a spreader sure. to get our shape that we need. Going to let it cure for about two hours. We're then going to come back again with an 80 grit, 120 grit sandpaper. We're going to knock it down to get our shape and profile back. And then again, we'll come with the gel coat, the brushable gel coat, and coat over it again using the same technique as we talked about. Now, if you guys have damage on your boat to where the gel coat's off and, you, and you've got to do some glass work too, you can always use fiberglass chop strand mat and polyester resin. Absolutely. Bert is. He said, man, he goes, John, if you use instead of the cloth, if you actually mix up some milled fibers, this is chop strand mat just kind of chopped up into small little amounts. You put in the uh, polyester resin, and it's a lot less fairing. Then you can put in your fairing compound, okay, and then you can go ahead and put in the, the gel coat. 
Now there are millions and millions of people in the audience that have little scratches and dings and nicks, and they might want an exact color match of what they have, and that gone, that unsightliness gone. Correct. They're going to want to get more information on this new brushable gel coat. Where do we lead them? Visit our website at fgci.com. We have all the information there, the tips and tricks to get it done. Jeff, this is a revolutionary new technology. Literally anybody now, doesn't matter your skill level, can fix their scratches in the boat. I think it's amazing, thank you. Thank you. I want everybody to take a look at where we began with the condition of the gel coat on the Taco Marine project boat. We had some light scratches, we had some modest gouges, and I really want everybody to kind of zero in on the keel, right at the bow of that craft, where we had that big chip out of the center line. Also, the bow pulpit had a lot of damage, a lot of bangs into the dock, and maybe other boats and bow rails and stuff over its life, but it was, it was damaged. And here is the result of two days' work with a little bit of the fiberglass repair with those milled fibers. We also put in the body fillers, and we put in the computer exact color match gel coat, and the results speak for themselves. I'm really telling you, the foundation of this boat, getting it ready, to transform it into a 2016, maybe a 2017 boat is well on its way. And we've got a lot of people that we need to thank who helped make today's show possible. First off, we have to thank John Kushner and Mike Kushner, his brother from Taco Marine. 